My name's Derry Green. I'm the owner and founder of The Secret Garden Glamping. I'm here today to look for an investment of £100,000 for a 5% equity stake in my business. The Secret Garden Glamping is a multi-award winning, five-star luxury glamping site based in a beautiful four-acre woodland. It all started in the first lockdown of 2020. Stuck at home with my two young children, I had to come up with new and exciting ways each day to keep them entertained. The first day, we decided to have a camping trip in the garden. It was great fun, but waking up on the wet grass in the morning wasn't very exciting. That day, I decided to build a deck to camp on for the evening. As days turned into months, I just kept building a bit more each day with the kids. And by the end of the first lockdown, we created what I now know to be a glamping site. Whilst on my journey, I kept updating my own social media with what I was up to with the kids each day. It went viral, and I had people contacting me asking if they could book the unit for a holiday. At the time, it seemed crazy, but with nothing to lose, I thought, why not list it online? Once listed, within the first three days, it was fully booked for two years in advance. I quickly realised there was a gap in the market for what I produced. We now have nine bespoke units, with planning permission for a further four. We've had 100% occupancy since the day we opened, with the earliest available weekend being over two years in advance. With your investment, I'd like to open more sites and make the Secret Garden Glamping the go-to brand for luxury glamping in the UK and abroad. Derry, what a story. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely inspiring. Did you really build that yourself, though? E everything you see there is, is built by me, yeah. But then as it's grown and the business has grown, I've had to take on more people. And is your background building? Nope, absolutely not. And what did it cost to put that together so far? Uh, I've invested just over half a million now in, in building everything. <laughs> And that's your money? Uh, so that's come from the, the revenue from the business. Wow. So give me an idea of the income now. So for this year, uh, we're going to do 1.1 million in revenue with a gross of just under 880,000 and a net of around 470,000. God, Derry, this is outstanding. I love this. Thank you. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> My, I've, 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 look, I've actually gone quite clammy. <laughs> I almost don't want to ask you any questions. Just go straight to an offer. <laughs> <laughs> By all means, do so. That'll be fine. <laughs> Derry, hi. Hi, Deborah. Um, you won't be surprised. I've got questions. It's an industry I spent my entire life in. Yep. So, what's your season? 365 days a year. OK, and you've got 100% occupancy for the year coming up at weekends. And where are you at midweeks? So, our midweek occupancy is fully booked for the next 18 months in advance. Oh, my goodness. Well, my next question is going to be tariffs. Yeah. Because the rule we always said is if it's booking too fast and too far in advance, we're probably not charging enough money. Yeah. So, what do your tariffs look like? So, obviously, they will fluctuate through the season? Uh, so I don't do that at the minute. The reason being, I set this up for me and my children, um, and it's always grated on me that, that people try and capitalise on, on when children are off school. So my rate is flat across the whole year, whether it be summer holidays, whether it be winter. So for 2023, the average nightly rate is £225 a night. And for 2024, the average nightly rate is £245 a night. You must know that is way too cheap. Yeah. You could double your prices and probably yeah. sell. And I guess you are making a conscious decision to have the prices where they are. Absolutely. It just didn't sit right with me. Derry, I, I, I think you're great. <laughs> You've got a completely fresh set of eyes. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of complacency around the industry. Absolutely. But it feels like an industry that gets dragged kicking and screaming doing the next thing, you know. It's Absolutely. kind of, guys, get ahead of the customer. <laughs> you know, do something exciting. So, I'm going to make you an offer, and this doesn't happen very often. But I'm going to offer you all of the money at what you've asked for. Wow. For 5% of the business. Wow, thank you. I was going to make you an offer from the minute you walked in after you described the business. And having met you and having listened to you, I think you'd be a great person to work with. You really would. So, I'm going to offer you all of the money for what you've asked for. So, I'm going to offer you £100,000 for 5%. Thank you. I, I love this sort of stuff. 
I take the kids camping. I'm, I'm watching that video thinking, it just looks amazing. Thank and you. you, I think you have such a vision of where you're going to take this business. And I would love nothing more than to be involved. So I'm also going to offer you all of the money at the rate that you've asked for, the 5%. Thank you. I may not be in the hospitality business, mm -hmm. but I'm in the property business. And I think that's where I can help. And I'm going to make you an offer. I'll give you all of the money for 5%. Okay. Thank you for your offer. How are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm trying to keep it together now. It, it genuinely... It's, it's, it's OK to show how you feel, but... Yeah. You know? <laughs> Derry, I'm going to tell you where I am as well. It's funny, cos I'm like, I'm... I don't want to say that, but I feel really proud of you for some reason. <laughs> because, like, you're such a decent bloke, and for you to have created something so wonderful from such an, an authentic story of trying to provide something for your children, to the point where I think I've taken my dragon hat off a little bit here, because, obviously, with her background and everything else, Deborah is just perfect for this. I just don't think I'd be the right dragon for you. So with that, I'm going to wish you the very, very best, but I'm going to say that I'm out. Thank you. Thank you for all your time and, and obviously for the offers. Deborah, when you started talking then, what you said was exactly right. It feels like, sometimes it feels like I'm, I'm insane, I guess, because I can see it so clearly. And then for you to sit there and just validate everything that I think in my head on a daily basis, just, yeah, it got me there. And how you just said is exactly how I think. And if you're thinking the same, I'd love to accept your offer. Well done. I am so <laughs> pleased, because I genuinely... Let's do it. Well done, you. Well done, mate. Take care. Are you crying because you're happy with him or because you didn't get the investment? <laughs> I'm, so I'm just so happy for him. <laughs> He's lovely. <laughs>